Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is going to be your uh, general reading in the area of love. We're going to do couples. We're going to do singles. I'll put a timestamp somewhere. It's general. It's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, please feel free to check out your other signs. And I don't need to know. You don't have to put it in the comment section if it doesn't agree, if you don't agree or whatever. I don't keep it pushing. Let's keep it pushing. Keep it moving. All right. Kinetic energy is a thing. It's how things manifest. Let's do better. Okay. So Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If it doesn't resonate with you, check out your other signs. All right, because energy is fluid, I'm reading from the perspective of Aquarius because this is an Aquarius reading. But if you feel like it doesn't apply to you and you feel like maybe the roles are reversed, feel free to do that. Time is an illusion. So, yes, we're stamping this for the week ahead because it's the weekly check in, but it could definitely resonate at any time. OK, if you are in a relationship, we're going to do couples first, single second. If you're in a relationship and you're thinking of ending it or you think they're going to end it um, and for whatever reason you may be single soon, go ahead and stick around for the singles reading because it can speak to you this also applies if you're in an open relationship all right so let's go aquarius sun moon rising and venus weekly check-in Now, it's not necessarily for, um, like, so when I say couples, it could be anybody that you already have an existing relationship with. We have relationships with everybody we have relationships with. This could be a friend relationship, a sibling relationship, whatever. This is the area of love, so it's not necessarily romantic. I don't know how people don't put it together, but they don't. So, you know, however it's resonating with you whenever you get this. The star in the reverse position, all right? They see you as a little bit of hopeless. Maybe they see you that your light is burning out. Maybe they see that you your flame is getting dim. Um, maybe they see you maybe um, having a bit more of a sort of pessimistic attitude lately. Okay, this is how they're feeling about you. You want, <laughs> you want to give it a rest, okay? Whatever's happened in the past, you just want to let it go. Um, it looks like you don't want to keep rehashing things. You don't want to go back to past mistakes or even past, I'm hearing, conversations for many of you, okay? You want... looks like you kind of want to live in your own bubble and you just don't want to be bothered. There's not anything like just inherently wrong with that. Okay. They want stability, financial and otherwise. Okay. They want security. Maybe they want to be more secure in their own life or maybe they want you to be more secure. Okay. But they want some sort of um, stability here and something more solid. They want, they want to be secured in some way, whether that's by you or maybe they're just trying to gain this from them for themselves by themselves although i'm not say i feel like they want to hide something from you they don't want you to find out about what's in that treasure chest is kind of how i'm seeing it maybe safety deposit box okay the combined energy nobody's walking away from this yet um it could be that something's happened in the past and y'all are given another shot nobody's walking away from it yet but there are being it, it feels to me like there are things being implemented Okay, whether that's little nest eggs over here or little savings accounts over here or um, stocks and bonds or whatever it is, there are things being implemented in case, okay, insurance, all right? What's hidden is things not necessarily coming in in the future for someone or both of you, okay? Somebody doesn't, I'm hearing somebody doesn't want to talk about it. Probably because they're uncertain at this point. All right. In the outcome, there will be um, some sort of an offer, some sort of a proposal. So it looks like somewhere down the road this gets renewed. Yeah, there will be some sort of a faded event that happens that turns everything around. It switches the focus and this begins to grow again. And that's going to be a major mind shift, possibly children, um, but overall mind shift. So if someone's having some sort of mental health issues let's say they've switched medication or maybe they're they've recently you know entered a spout of depression this could be, i'm hearing postpartum for some of you others of you you're not used to being out of work or you've switched to being at home more um, by choice and you're not used to that or you've taken on more hours whatever this is there seems to be something in state um, unstable or out of whack in the mind um, that's leading to a bit of sadness and like obsessive thoughts and thought loops 
that's going into like a bit of depression. This gets taken care of and once it does, there's something that is heavy on someone's mind. When they start taking care of themselves, okay, they come out of that space. They get it, they regain a balance, they start taking care of themselves. Um, it looks like they start looking less to you for answers or you to them and um, more to themselves, more of like, okay, you know, if I'm feeling this way, then maybe I need to fix this about me and then we'll handle the rest later. I want to clarify this Seven of Swords first and foremost. Four of Cups in the reverse position. Yeah, they they they've done something in the past. They have some weird. Um, Something that they do when they get bored, okay? Or whenever they get out of whack or when they get down on themselves. It's possible that it's some sort of an addiction. This could be porn. This could be um, at gambling. This could be food. This could be drugs. This could be alcohol. Um, this could be other people. It could be just overall bad behavior and weird um, mental things, but... Uh, I don't know. When they're depressed, they don't really... Are you, excuse me? Yeah, because this is from what you want. When you're depressed, you don't really show it like other people show it. You still have a smile on your face. You start, it's in your actions and not your, um, it's in your like obsessive actions and not your face. Most people wouldn't look at you and think you're depressed. They would look at you and think you're having a really good time. But the reason you're doing the things you're doing is because you're not necessarily happy with yourself. Okay. The hermit in the reverse position and the six of wands in the reverse position. You want to be, it looks like you want to be trusted again. Okay. Aquarius. I don't know what's going on in the past, but there's definitely been something that, um, isn't the best situation and decisions to be made and it looks like you want to be forgiven you want to get back out there you want to be trusted again you want it you don't want to rehash it okay and again this could be the other way around this could have been something that happened with them that you're ready to, to just get over it okay but it's definitely somebody wants to be trusted again someone doesn't they want to come out they're ready to come out of their isolation they're ready to come out of this state of like whatever this sort of bad behavior is or destructive behavior Someone here definitely has the gift of gab. Probably Aquarius. That's usually a thing. Or it's common for Aquarius. Um, oh, let's do the three of wands here. And then we're going to do the knight of cups. Queen of coins. Yeah, the hidden thing is somebody is kind of, they're wanting to build on their own. See the king of pentacles here, what they want, they want to be secure. And what's hidden is a nest egg for the future, a stability for the future. Somebody's building on their own or wanting to build on their own. Somebody is making sure that they are okay. Whether this is through life insurance policies, like I said, safety deposit box, stocks and bonds. Um, I'm hearing 401k, switching beneficiaries. Somebody needs to make sure they're okay. Wow, it's a big stack. For the queen, I'm sorry, the knight of cups. Six of Swords in the reverse, Knave of Wands in the reverse, Seven of Wands in the reverse, Six of Coins in the reverse, and the Ten of Coins. Okay. So it looks like someone accepts what the other person is or what they can give them at the time. It may seem manipulative to some, but this is a way of survival, okay? If this is all you can give me, then I'm going to take what I can get because I'm not walking away empty-handed or less than what I came in with, okay? And we'll cross the next bridge when we come to it. That's what's happening here. That's what's happening here. It's not good. It's not, not bad. It's, it's a way of life. It's a way to survive. It's a way to get through things without fighting, Okay. 
Um, whatever this is, Aquarius, it looks like you and your person come through it for the time being. The offer is small, though. It's like a small peace offering in order to get to the next phase. Okay. Somebody decides here that, again, like I said, like, you, okay, you can't offer me this, but you can do this at least. So we're going to make peace and we're going to build in this specific area. Or I'm going to use you for this or, or I'm going to allow myself to be used for this or, you know, whatever the case is. Um, and we're at least going to get that out of it before we go any further. We'll decide the next chapter whenever we get there. Okay. And maybe things will be different then. But for right now, let's focus on this. That's kind of the energy that I'm getting with that. Okay. Witness, to know personal evidence, to speak out. Again, whatever has happened in the past, somebody, they witnessed it firsthand. They're holding on to it. Um, they know something. At least they feel like they know something. And again, this could be vice versa, Aquarius. Somebody feels like they know something, like they found something out. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. They found something out. Call for help, reach out, need for backup, admit your needs, okay? Um, it looks like either somebody went outside of the relationship, somebody spent more than, whatever it is, it was a decision that wasn't necessarily agreed up on, and it was found out, it's been revealed, somebody's witnessed something, maybe a, a, a mutual friend, or possibly receipts, phone bills, bank statements, there's no telling, but it's like the other person found something out, they may not have spoke on it so far, they may have, because you got a lot of cards here where you just want to let it go, or you want it to be let go, you want to be trusted again, or you want to trust them again, or whatever, but there's been some recent things come to surface, and um, I see it being worked through at least to a point of getting past it enough to um, function. We'll say it like that. All right, let's get into the singles. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I almost said Sun, Moon, Rising, and Single. <laughs> Sun, Moon, Rising, and Ving, Ving, Vingus. Wow. And, okay. <laughs> Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <laughs> Eight of Cups coming out there in the sideways position. Um, you may still be caught up on something. There may still be some blockage there, okay, emotionally, where you haven't fully let something go, or you haven't fully walked away from a situation, at least on an energetic level, okay? You're still caught up on something, and it's perfectly fine and natural for that to happen if you had a lot of emotional investment and spent a lot of time um, with someone or on someone. I'm hearing somebody was really waiting for someone to make a true commitment. It didn't happen there, and that um, you're still caught up on that you know energetically also I'm seeing somebody reminiscing about the past a past lover um yeah it's like why couldn't they be like this or why couldn't they be like that or you know um you forgetting all the bad about somebody and kind of holding someone to the standards of a past person that you're kind of forgetting all the the bad qualities that they had and seemingly only remembering the good which is a little bit unfair all right Aquarius, one more shuffle here. Singles, let's see what's going on in the future. Love, potential love, all right? <laughs> you can't make it up, okay? That's what's happening. You're, you're, you're still caught up on something, okay? You're still caught up on something. You're still, you've not completely detached from a situation. I don't know how single you are. I mean, yeah, there's no, like, monogamous, you know exclusive commitment but when you're still giving somebody this much power over your life and you're still giving this much energy and the attachment is still so so strong the connection is still still so strong i don't know how single and available that actually is all right yeah the attraction between you and this part i mean you're still in limbo you you're still caught up on something that's just what it is you're still caught up on something 
And you don't have any control over that, at least as you feel it. You don't have any control over this person. You don't have any control over the situation. You feel like you don't have control over your emotions. You feel like this is just, maybe you just feel like it's something you have to go through, okay? The challenge is re remembering the toxic traits, remembering why y'all aren't together, remembering to heal, okay? Remembering that this wasn't all it was cracked up to be. You're remembering only the good portions for some reason. Um, yeah, the challenge is releasing this, putting an end to it, especially because it's been toxic. You've been toxic, they've been toxic, whoever, this isn't the blame game. The deal is, didn't work out, and there's a reason it didn't work out, and you can't stay hung up there, okay? <clears throat> you feel like you don't have control over it. The advice is to get back out there, not necessarily to get back out there in a dating way, okay? Also, the advice is to understand that this is your own personal journey, and there's a lot of things that need to be healed by you, from you, you can't expect someone to come along and be something else or be something to you that you're not already offering yourself or not willing to offer yourself, okay? Oh, goodness. You and this person just, y'all y'all fight. Y'all fight. This person may be even a fire sign, but y'all fight. You have a lot invested in this person. Oh my God, y'all fight so much. Never content, always worry, always the same cycle. Oh my God, toxicity feeding off of toxicity on toxic, toxic, toxic. This is such an unhealthy relationship and view of what's happening here and what has happened. But if we're being honest, a lot of people fall into this. A lot of people fall into this. And it's, I'm, I'm going to be very honest with you. This is not just you caught on them. This is them caught on you. Y'all have a very, and, and maybe that's because the connection is very real and very deep. But let me tell you something. You could have a soulmate. You could have a twin flame. You can have whatever that is, okay? You can have a best friend. You can have a family member that you absolutely love and adore and that is in your life for a reason. And the connection is deep beyond measure. But if you're not willing to work on yourself and your toxic traits and change for the better, and be the best you that you can be. And they're not willing to change and work on their toxic traits and change for the better and be the best that they can be. What are we doing? What are we doing? The monster within internal struggle, personal challenges, and wanting to improve. You can't make it up. That's what I have for you, Aquarius. I love you so much, and I'll see you next time.